Hello, this is Scott with Rizzo Controls, and this is the basic PX graphics video. We're going to do four or five different things, actually. And in that order will be a new view for our hot water system under our cool station. We're going to make some bound labels. A label is just a text where the text changes based on some value of an ORD, or where information comes from. That's what makes it bound. The information will change based on the value of the ORD. We'll make some widgets and get some cool image properties from some palettes. Show you how to make some hyperlinks and how to make some ductwork or pipework. Something important to note here is that we will use what's called the Make Widget Wizard for these four things, the Make Widget Wizard. And for static images where they're not gonna change based on an ORD, this will just come straight from the palette sidebar. So let's begin with the new view. Today, I'm using a developer version of Niagara 4.15, and I'm already logged into Scott's cool station here. And if I wanted to put graphics under this heating plant controller, what I'll do is right click that heating plant controller, hover over views, and left click new view. What's gonna happen is I'll get a new view slot up here and we can name it whatever we want in the next window. So I'll name this HWS graphic for hot water system graphic. I'll leave everything else at the defaults and I'll click okay. In this case, I will overwrite just because I already have a PX view named that. If you don't already have a PX view named HW graphic or HWS graphic, you wouldn't get that window. You'd be brought here. So here is what I'm going to call the canvas pane, where Tritium likes to keep that theme with artists using palettes to paint their canvases, right? So first things first, we have new view already. Now I'll make some bound labels, and I'm gonna make two types of bound labels. The first type will be a display name label to change display name of the controller or to show that display name. The second one will be for points with a display name and a value. So first, the display name label. In Niagara, if I wanted to have a display name of this controller, I'm going to left click and drag that heating plant controller to the top of my canvas pane. And when I let go of my left click, I get this make widget wizard here. I want to hit my bound label radio button. And for the text I want to appear is just the display name. But the display name of what? Well, that thing that we clicked and dragged out. This is what is called the ORD, or where information comes from. Maybe where info originates. So I'll click OK, and I get this little label in here. I'll click and drag the handle of that label. And maybe I like the size of it now, but the font size is too small. I can right click that label and left click Edit Properties left click this font property here and change this to really any size I want. If I wanted 48 and bold and maybe some cool font, whatever t tickles your fancy here is perfectly fine. Click OK and OK and that's the display name of that controller. I'm gonna save my graphics at this point. It's a good habit to toggle in and out of view mode. You can also use the floppy disk, but out of habit, I'll toggle the pencil, go into view mode, and go back out. To prove a concept here, if I were to change the display name of heating plant, set display name to heating system, and I refresh this particular tree node to refresh that display name, and then refresh my graphics, the display name changed and so did the display of the graphics. The next bound label I'm going to use is a points with its display name. 
And so, for example, I got to go into edit mode to do this. If I wanted to have all of these points, outside air temp, hot water pump control and status, boiler controls, supply and return, I can click and drag these into my canvas pane. And we should expect this make widget wizard. We do want a bound label, but I don't want just their display names. I want their out.values. This actually grabs the out value of all of these points. And each one of these ORDs will get its own little block. But if I just had a value like outside air temperature at 72 degrees, that wouldn't be a whole lot of information. So I'm gonna check this make display name label and it'll give me a label to the left with these points display names. So if I'll check make display name label and click okay. Ta-da! Maybe I'm like, hey, I wanna lasso and make all these on the left a little bit bigger. I could do that. Okay, cool. So we've got some display name labels. We've got some bound labels with their display names. Next up is gonna be widgets. And primarily what I'm talking about with widgets are graphics that will change based on the value of an ORD or based on the value of a point. So for example, if I wanted to have an on boiler image for boiler one control when it's on and off when it's off, I can click and drag boiler one out. And where I'm gonna get the images from is from a particular palette. So click that from palette radio button. In this case, I'll use that kit PX and 4 SVG palette. Expand the boilers folder and click the boiler right round. If I click okay, here's a cool little boiler and looks a little better in view mode. So as boiler one is on, that image changes. As boiler one is off, that image will respect that. Our next part of this video is hyperlinks. And the way I'm gonna show you how to make a hyperlink will work to practically anywhere under config. So I'll go into edit mode. And if I wanted to say hyperlink to really any place in my graphic, say I wanted to hyperlink to my alarm console, a console recipient, here's my all alarms console. I'll click and drag that into my canvas pane. And in this case, I do want the from palette because I want a specific type of widget, but it's not in our kit PX and for SVG palette. It's in our kit PX palette. And in here, I'll have my hyperlink button and I'll make sure I check that hyperlink gotcha in the bottom left of the make widget wizard. Click okay and I just get this gray box, which is mighty boring. However, if I edit the properties of that mighty gray box and put some text in there like C active alarms, you can click okay. And now if I go into view mode and left click C active alarms, it'll hyperlink me to that alarm console. One last thing I wanna do here, go back to my heating system, see our new view that we made earlier, is to make pipework or ductwork or really images that are not going to change. Earlier, we talked about having to use a make widget wizard. That's the thing that we get when we click and drag some point into our canvas pane, we get that make widget wizard. However, when we want static images or images that aren't going to change, we're going to pull those right from the palette sidebar itself. So what doesn't typically change is ductwork and pipework. Those shouldn't change based on the value of a point. So back in Niagara, I'll open up my palette sidebar here with my kit PX N4 SVG. And under the piping folder, I'll find some large piping and maybe my hot water supply. And if I didn't know what hot water supply horizontal six looked like, that same preview button is here. I can click and drag that out and drop that on my boiler. And if I find myself struggling to get it just right, I'll right click my boiler, reorder that to the top 
to make it look a little bit better. And that's the basics of PX, right? We can do a lot of super simple graphics with just some hyperlinks, some bound labels, some widgets, and some pipework or ductwork.